Hi Libras, welcome to your 2022 yearly tarot reading. I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. Uh, it is going to be a little bit of a longer read because we are pulling from one, two, three, four, five, six different decks for your yearly reading this year. So pause the video, go get something to drink, go get a snack while I go ahead and shuffle these cards. We are going to be taking a deep dive into money, work, and finance as well as in love. And of course, we're gonna honor whatever messages show up for you for the year 2020. Show us everything we need to see for my beautiful Libra signs, sun, moon, and rising for the year 2020. Of course, my advice would also be to watch this video throughout the year, just to give yourself a reminder of what the overall messages are, and of course, to see what ended up showing up for you. All right, one more shuffle. Show us everything we need to see for our beautiful Libra signs. So we're gonna be starting off with um, this heart oracle deck. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I will link my Amazon storefront where all the decks will be listed that I'm using. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and see about our main message this year. All right, perfect. We have here, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. What a beautiful reminder, Libras. Put yourself first. It is only if you are being true to yourself that you can be true to others. What a beautiful message to start off your read. So I'm already getting right off the bat that 2022 is gonna be based on a lot of choices, um, a lot of revealing your truth, speaking up for yourself, boundary setting, self-love, a lot of relationships as well. So let's go ahead and see. How can we expand on this overall message for a beautiful Libra sign, sun, moon, and rising for all of 2022? Show us what we need to see. What messages do we need to see? Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> okay, what messages do we need to see? Libra signs. Okay, let's pull one more card. Libra, sun, moon, and rising. Please show us what else we need to see. Wow. <laughs> Libras. Okay, I'm just going to start off with the overall energy, but the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the two of cups upright. <laughs> if you are not already in an established relationship with someone, I am definitely getting here that you are meeting a soulmate. This is a love connection. You might get booed up this year if you're single. If you're already in a relationship, you might be taking your relationship to the next level. Wow. Wow, didn't I say this is gonna be about partnerships, relationships? All right, in addition to that, we have here the Knight of Cups in reverse. Um, followed by the Knight of Swords upright and the Empress upright. Let me tell you, I am getting from these cards here that you are not interested in just the lovey-dovey fun and games short-term situation. You are actually looking for something long-term. You are ready. You're, you're ready for a long-term relationship. You're ready for real, true adult love. You're ready to give yourself to another person. I think you've been working really hard at trying to discover um, what type of, of life you want for yourself in the future. I think so many of us make the mistake of um, just falling into attraction with someone and thinking this is the person you're gonna be with long term, only to discover that the fundamental things that you need in life uh, to be compatible with another person, you haven't found that in your 
most recent relationships. Um, and if you are in a current relationship right now, maybe this is an area that you and your partner are working on right now, is to see if the overall vision you have for your life is compatible with one another um, in terms of money, work and finance, as well as in personal relationships. So it's not about rushing a situation and feeling lovey-dovey, but it is about cutting out all of the people that aren't serious, especially if you're dating. You don't wanna be around people who are just in it for temporary fun and games. Age gaps might be a thing here. Maturity gaps might be a thing here also. What you are rushing towards is a new beginning, is taking your relationship se sector to the next level. It's also in cultivating a fruitful future with another person. Some of you might even be having a baby or getting pregnant this year, and if you are, congratulations. High fertile energy with the Empress card upright. You are rushing towards this brand new idea that you see for yourself in your life like you've reconstructed the expectations that you have for your future and i think that's beautiful um we do have the four pentacles up right here so some of you might be dealing with a situation where uh there is a pregnancy but you're keeping it low key um, this could also be, I don't want to say it this way, but like a secret pregnancy, if you've stepped out of the relationship or if you're dealing with a person who stepped out of the relationship with you, you may end up finding out that they are pregnant with another person's child. Also, that's not for everyone, but that is a message that I'm getting. Um, also for others of you, um, it could also be that whatever new beginning that you're trying to manifest for yourself, you're trying to keep the details a lot more low key. You're not as front page as normal. Uh, maybe you were in a relationship where you guys were posting each other everywhere on social media. You were exposing all of your issues, um, good, bad, ugly to everyone. So everyone knew what was going on at all times. Libras, I'm getting that this upcoming year, you're gonna be a lot more careful with what you choose to share with people. Um, even if it is good news, you're still gonna be a lot more careful with what you're sharing with people because you really wanna focus on the quality of the relationship that you have within that dynamic itself. Um, now, in addition, we have here the three of wands in reverse followed by the five of wands in reverse. So if you are single right now, you might not know exactly um, the direction, like you have a vague idea of the direction you're going in. Um, and I think you're still playing around with that. Um, I think you're still playing around with the boundaries, with the expectations that you have, with the type of person that you're looking for and the qualities that are there. Um, so moving forward, you're taking your time with it, which is great. But at the same time, at, at the site of disagreement, especially if it's um, petty stuff, especially if it's things that are that in your mind you consider to be more immature, you're going to disconnect from those types of relationships in this upcoming year. You are really not about um, the, the petty bickering that can happen in connection with, with other people, especially in like um, the honeymoon phase, it might be all great. And then something happens and like their true character is revealed. And Libras, you guys are great judges of character here because you are so balanced. So there is a message here being put out that at the sight of that red flag, and you will know what that red flag is for you because everyone's non-negotiables are different. But I am getting the feeling here that this year you will be focused on creating those boundaries and not dealing with the petty things that you can kind of get sucked into because you're so good at seeing things from another person's point of view. This year is going to be about your point of view. How do you think? What do you feel? What's What do you want? <laughs> you know, like this is enough about trying to compromise and meet everyone where they're at. This is about you getting clear with what you want to be happy, Libra signs. Now, following that beautiful message, we have here the magician upright. Manifestation ability here. Your words are very powerful. This year, Whatever you say that you want for yourself, you have the, the ability to manifest that into your life. So be very careful. We also have here the five of pentacles um, upright. So I am getting that you may end up cutting out some people or um, it might be the other way around that other people may start to distance themselves from you because you are just so crystal clear about what you want that uh, you're not trying to mince words with other people. I'm really getting here like tunnel vision. You see 
a type of future for yourself that you really want to create. And I hate to say it, but this year it feels like you're going to be cutting off dead weight. And it might cause some people to feel left out in the cold, to be unhappy with the choices that you've made. The more you come into your own, which is a beautiful thing and something I highly encourage for you Libras, but the more that you come into your own and you accept your truth and you are true to yourself, your truth may be the thing that cuts off all the people that weren't ever really for you. This may be a painful process, but you are clearing space for people who genuinely want to connect, whether this is in friendship or um, work partnerships, collaborations, or in love. So it doesn't feel good while it's happening. You might lose some people you've known for a while, but the point is you need to lose these people because they've been holding you back. And again, it's not about the petty arguments, but it really is about recognizing when something just is not in alignment with you and when you need to keep it pushing. And I'm getting that this year, you're going to keep it pushing. And that's great. We're going to go ahead and pull some more clarification cards using the Chakra Oracle Wisdom cards. Let's see if there's any further messages to this idea of owning your truth, cutting old energy off. What do we need to see for our Libra signs for this year, please? What do we need to know for our Libra signs? Any main messages with our Libra signs? What are Libra signs going to be dealing with this year? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So right off the bat, we have here perfection and facade. Listen very closely. My battery just died, so I had to change it. I was trying to say, you have facade and perfection. Listen closely. You have some people in your life who are not how they appear to be. They look like very good friends. They look like the most supportive colleagues. They look like they have your back. But at the end of the day, you are gonna go through some things this year in expressing your truth, in being truly who you are, your values, your belief system, even your political ideas that might trigger some people around you. And you're going to see who these people really are. And when they show you who they really are, Maya Angelou, believe them. <laughs> believe them, Libras. It is not your job to change people or convince people to have respect for your difference of opinion. Okay, stay true to who you are. Remember, your overall message is about you honoring yourself here. It is imperative that this year you do not make yourself small. You are going to realize, no, nope, I'm worth more than this. I'm worth so much more self-worth than how people have treated me. And I'm, I'm just not going to settle for some time-ish friends, some time-ish uh, love relationships, or just people in general. I'm not dealing with that anymore. You are wise beyond your years. We have wisdom here and we have discovery. The more you honor this discovery journey you are on right now, your triggers, the healing you need to do, the transformation, the more you allow yourself to dive in deeper into who you genuinely are, the more these people are going to show up and the more these people are going to get cut out and you will be left with only the best of the best who genuinely have your back. That's exactly what you want here. This is going to be a year of wisdom, a year of growth, a year of cutting out old negative ties and opening yourself up to genuine new connections. We're going to pull some clarification using another deck here. I want to see what um, this magician energy entails. What is this new beginning that's coming to you? Manifestation. What are you bringing to your life at this time? We have here the Hermit upright, King of Pentacles upright, and the King of Swords upright. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricor Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, a Libra. Uh, we have here with the Hermit energy, taking a step back, okay? Once you see through these petty disagreements, how these people really are, who these people really are. You're being encouraged to then take a step back, take a step back, hermit energy, honor who they are, see it for what it really is. 
okay? King of Swords energy. Cut through all the BS. Use your wisdom to communicate the difference of opinion, to communicate your boundaries, to communicate your expectations, and then build upon uh, build upon something built on solid ground. King of Pentacles, upright. And if this friendship is not built on solid ground, believe that for what it really is. Slow and steady wins the race here. So this is all going to be about building strong foundations with people, uh, making smart money moves in work and finance as well, and not deceiving your yourself king of swords see it for what it really is uh let's take a look at this empress the empress energy empress energy please Empress energy, we have here the Justice card upright. We also have here the Six of Wands upright, and we have the Ace of Wands in reverse here. Some sort of um, messed up situation will balance itself out at some point in the year. So if, if you are feeling like there's been some sort of injustice, a big misunderstanding, people lying on your name, um, stuff that happened at work that you felt wasn't fair, um, even in family or relationship dynamics where it just felt like you've had to silence yourself for some, what, for some time, I'm getting here that this new beginning, what you're manifesting out of this new beginning comes out of um, uh, a conclusion from something that probably started last year, maybe even early this year, like in January, uh, something didn't end the right way. Um, it left like a sour taste in your mouth. Somebody didn't learn the lesson yet, but I'm getting here that you get this brand new beginning um, after uh, justice is served, but I'm getting here. You don't even have to lift a finger. The person is getting their karma and you end up victorious without even doing anything. It's actually in you taking a step back and releasing yourself from the situation that this person understands what has happened, that this person's karma is delivered to them. Their karma might also be that you are no longer in their life, but I am getting here that you get this brand new beginning. You get to see things from a whole new lens. An opportunity is gonna open up for you as a result of you actually taking a step back and them getting their karma when you don't even see it. You won't even be around to see it, but trust that it's happening. It's happening behind the scenes. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this Knight of Swords. What are you rushing towards? Knight of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords upright, the King of Wands upright, and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, some of you could be going back to school. Some of you might be interested in some sort of higher learning or certification program. Uh, some of you might also be learning about stocks, investments, crypto, that sort of thing. Uh, for others of you, you're investigating something that didn't make sense to you. Maybe some of you were dealing with um, a wishy-washy love interest, hot and cold, very mixed signals. And what you're rushing towards, Page of Swords energy is like understanding, gathering knowledge. Some some of you might even be creeping on their social media or it could be the other way around that you started dating somebody but you weren't really interested in something short term so they end up trying to investigate you <laughs> and watching all of your movements which may actually cause you the four of pentacles upright may cause you to um, keep more things to yourself and not be so upfront which would make a lot of sense especially if you have people watching your every move here uh, with the page of swords air sign energy gemini aquarius libra we're also dealing with a fire sign king of wands aries leo sagittarius or earth sign capricorn taurus virgo with the page of pentacles in reverse here um you want to move towards something that lights you up and makes you happy though so if that energy that stalker ish energy is happening against you um you're gonna want to move away from that as fast as you can um keep more things to yourself and into this new beginning maybe that's what this justice card is for um whoever is like creeping on you and won't let you go won't let go will finally understand they need to fucking let go 
they need to let go. And I am getting here four of wands upright, or sorry, six of wands upright. Again, victory is here for you, but it's not in an action that you're going to take. Just stay true to who you are, but they are going to get it. They're going to get it after lots of digging um, and wanting to stay connected. I think this person is going to realize they need to let you go because you're on a totally different path now and the ship has long sailed. Let's go ahead and pull on uh, work. Okay, let's take a look at work. We are using the Affirmators Oracle deck for work. See, what are the messages for Libra signs for work for 2022? And we have here, unflappability. I am unflappable god slash goddess when my work is critiqued. When I receive criticism, I hear feedback, accept what I need to change, then wipe from my memory any harsh words, tones, implications, or brazenly obvious eye rolls. I am totally impervious to anything that would make the average person feel judged or insulted. Got that? You condescending dummy who can't kill my spirit. <laughs> AKA, when people are saying things um, that can most people can... Uh, find hurtful you're being reminded to just let it roll off your shoulders here know yourself so well that it doesn't matter what anybody says that it is not taken personally especially within the workplace um and that it's just feedback it doesn't need to mean anything it doesn't need to be a commentary on your character try your best not to take it personally and i again i'm reminded of this be true to who you are remember in being true to yourself um that's when you can be true to other people. Don't make any decisions based on guilt, right? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at any messages for love. Again, Affirmators Oracle, where we are using the love deck. And if you are interested in any of the decks I'm using, check out my Amazon storefront. The link is in the description box below where you can purchase all of these decks. For love, we have here, reliability. I am reliable. When I say I'll do something, I take whatever that something is seriously. This applies to all commitments, even the ones that may have seemed small and insignificant to a less reliable me. From now on, flaking is just, just for dandruff commercials and cereal factories. Amazing. I am sensing here a level up for you as well. A level up in how you conduct yourself. Uh, you want to be that reliable person. You don't want to be a flake. You're learning that your words hold water. Your words hold water, right? And if you are true to yourself, then you can show up to others. So you need to be true to your word so that other people will also be truthful in their word to you. Um, beautiful reminders here for love and romance as well as in work. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and pull from one last oracle. This is going to be from the Seven Energies Oracle deck. Um, I will be reading from the book as well because the messages are so beautiful. So let's go ahead and see how do we close this up for our beautiful Libra signs for the year 2022. Libra signs. Wow. Wow. Seeing beyond. Look at that. That is a beautiful card. Third eye chakra. Okay, if you have any um, crystals for your third eye, amethyst would be beautiful. Any purple crystals, ametrine, even blues, sodalite, lapis lazuli. All right. Let me go ahead and look this up. I hope you guys got a snack like I told you to. <laughs> All right. Seeing beyond. Do you consider things only within the framework of what you already know? Or can you allow yourself to see beyond into the vastness of potential? We are all gifted with the magical ability of imagination. And when we open to it, we become a conduit for a divine vision greater than our own. There are two ways to view the world and co-create with it. One is from a face value perspective. What you see is what you get. The second is allowing your imagination to see beyond what something is right now and move into a place that doesn't even exist in the material world. 
In this cosmic playground of possibilities, you see into a future where anything you imagine has the potential to become real. That is this magician energy right in the middle of your spread. Beautiful. If you use your imagination faithfully and consciously, avoiding the traps of fearful projection and drama. What did I say? No more drama. You can connect to any reality you truly want to experience. When you open yourself up even further, you're often gifted with a divine vision. As a masterpiece, um, as a practice, you can reimagine that vision over and over to strengthen it. As you channel these visions through you, you through you, you become a super conductor for the world. Today, know that your vision, what you imagine forming in the invisible, will be delivered in the material world. Don't worry about the timing of things. That is in the hands of the universe. Your job is to continue to imagine, take a few steps forward, then imagine some more. The universe's job is to make it real. What a fabulous partnership. Come on now, you are attracting all the right individuals into your life. You are cutting away all the old dead weight. Okay, Drake song, No New Friends, is not applicable to you this year, Libra. It is actually about new connections. It's about getting rid of all the old connections that are actually all fake. Okay, this is about aligning yourself with authenticity and not just authentic people, but authenticity in yourself. Keep on putting yourself first, discover who you truly are, honor your needs, desires, your boundaries, make it clear, make it concise, and only then are you going to be able to attract all these incredible new people to help make your visions a reality. What a beautiful year for you, Libra Signs. I'm so happy for you, and I can't wait to see how this all plays out. I hope you enjoyed your 2022 yearly reading. If you wanted some more guidance throughout the year, feel free to book a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me. Uh, the most most popular option is the 45 minute live reading. All the details will be in the description box below at www.themindfulawakening.com and I will catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.